Hey guys, we all like a good conspiracy, don't we? Well, a few days ago now, pictures of the box art from the Nintendo Switch version of LEGO City Undercover started to appear on the internet. Nothing that unusual, sure, but in this case, things were just not adding up. The box states that you'll need 13GB of available storage for game download and recommends an SD card to expand the Switch's storage capacity. Not only this, but it states it requires an internet connection as well. Huh? The games come on a cartridge. Why would you then need to download a further 13 gigabyte of data before you can even start to play the game? One of the benefits of the Nintendo Switch is that you can just insert the cartridge and start playing the game without any massive additional downloads, something that other consoles are plagued with. What's even weirder is if you take a look at the eShop, you'll notice the game is listed as 7.1 gigabyte. Now, this could only mean that you're going to have to download an additional 13GB of data after the initial game has downloaded. Taking this into account, it sounds like the retail version would be using an 8GB card and requiring the user to download the rest to internal storage or an SD card. Is this a cheap move by Warner Brothers to save money on the more expensive bigger capacity cards? The Wii U version of LEGO City Undercover was actually 20GB, so things are definitely not adding up here. I think it's time to call Mulder and Scully. Right, let's dig deeper. Warner Brothers, who are publishing the game, have released a statement stating that the info was listed wrong on the boxes and that the retail game will not require additional downloads or an internet connection. Surely there was some kind of copy editor overseeing the packaging before releasing it into the wild. It wouldn't be the first time a game has passed without being proofread before, but it does seem a bit of a big oversight which potentially could cost the game sales. There is speculation that whilst the game is completely playable, the HD textures are required to be downloaded for the full experience. An additional 13GB of HD textures does seem a bit far-fetched, especially considering it is a LEGO game. Still, the PS4 and Xbox One versions are roughly 18GB each, so for the Switch version to only be 7.1GB on the eShop, it does seem a bit suspicious. Lego City Undercover is out on April the 3rd, so it shouldn't be too long before we can close the case on this one. Well, what do you think on the situation? Maybe leave your comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching.